Have you ever wanted to take a website and turn it into a Linux desktop application? So go to your web browser, pick any website you go to frequently, and we're going to turn it into a desktop application on your Linux machine. So to do this, you need to open a terminal and you want to install a program called Natifier. Now this is a uh, Node.js program, so we need to install it using npm. So run the following command, sudo npm install dash g Natifier. Now I've already installed Natifier on my system, but once you've installed it on your system, the next thing you want to do is actually run the Natifier command. So type Natifier and then some website address and make sure you type the uh, address using the appropriate appropriate protocol. So if it's HTTP rather than HTTPS, use HTTP because it'll try to default to HTTPS. And if it's not available, that could cause a problem when it's trying to create your app. Also, don't include www as part of the URL if that just redirects to the name without www. So for example, my uh, website, I'm going to do HTTPS colon slash slash distro dot tube. And we need to wrap that in quotations. And then we want to give it this flag dash dash name and you can name it whatever you want. This will be the name of the application. I'm just going to call it distro.tube and then run that and it's going to create this web based electron app. And of course, the reason that's an electron app is again, it's essentially a Chromium browser that just launches directly to the distro.tube website in my case. So it finished creating the app for us. Now you need to CD into the location that of this directory, this project that it created. Now remember I named mine distro.tube, so I'm going to CD into distro.tube dash Linux dash x64 because it texts that on. Uh, by the way, Natifier does work on Windows and Mac OS as well. So I'm going to CD into that directory. If I do it L there is the complete project, but the actual application, you know, what you actually need to launch is this right here, distro.tube in my case. So all I need to do to actually launch the application is do dot slash and then distro.tube. And there it is. There is my distro.tube website, you know, as a web app. So that is actually kind of cool. Now, let me close out of this web application and get back to the terminal. Now, of course, it could be a little clunky to have to navigate to a directory that you created and then do the dot slash, you know, whatever the name of your application is to launch that directory. Right. So on Linux, what we need to do, if we want this to appear in most Linux menu systems, you need to create a dot desktop entry for for your desktop applications. And I'm going to CD into dot local slash share slash applications. If I do a LS, you can see dot local slash share slash applications has a bunch of files in it that all end in dot desktop. So these are desktop entries. So these are the files that tell your menu systems on Linux. Hey, this is a desktop application. Here's where the binary uh, that you need to execute exists on the system. This is where the icon for this desktop entry exists on the system, yada, yada, yada. So we don't have a dot desktop entry for the distro.tube application. I could create one, but you know what? I'm going to copy. I'm just going to pick a dot desktop entry to copy. I'll copy htop. htop as a dot desktop file. So I'm going to copy htop.desktop and I'm going to copy it to a new file, distro.tube.desktop. So copy that. And now let's open with Vim our distro.tube.desktop entry and I just need to go in and just change values for example the name of the application let's change that to distro.tube the, the generic name process viewer so if your menu system has a generic name you know what's it going to appear as I'm going to say this is a web app for distro dot tube and then the comment is show system processes of course that's for htop my comment is going to be again i'll just do web app for distro dot tube and then the icon what icon should this be since it's a web app i should do something web related so you know what i'm just going to use the chrome icon for my uh, distro.tube application. What should it execute? The command that it executes. Obviously, it doesn't need to be htop, right? It needs to be that distro.tube uh, binary, which I need to do the full pass. So slash home slash dt slash, it was in distro.tube dash Linux dash x64 slash distro.tube. 
And then what category should it appear in your menu system? So every menu system typically has an internet category. So I'll put it in internet keywords. Uh, I, I could put anything here, but once again, I'll just do internet. Uh, startup notifies false terminal. Is this a terminal application? It is not. So I'll just get rid of that line. No display equals true. Um, I'll get rid of that line as well because that was for HTOP, which is a, a command line application. So I got rid of those. And now if I do a colon WQ to write and quit, now we should have distro.tube in any menu system that uses desktop entries, which is almost every kind of menu system on Linux. D menu, oddly enough, doesn't read dot desktop entries so if i launch d menu and search for distro dot tube it's not here in d menu but rofi does read um, desktop menu entries so let me run rofi and if i do a search for distro dot tube there it is you guys probably can't read the font but it, distro dot tube it has the chrome icon because that's what we set for the icon and then the description out to the side web app for distro dot tube let's launch it Make sure it actually launches from Rofi, and it does. So that is how you create a desktop Linux application from a website. Now, before I go, I want to thank a few special people. I want to thank the producers of this episode. Gabe, James, Matt, Maxim, Emmett, Mitchell, Paul, Wes, Why You Bald, Homie, Alex, Armor, Dragon, Chuck, Commander, Henry, Dioka, George Lee, Marstrom, Nate, Erjan, Alexander, Paul, Peace, Arch, and Fedora, Polytech, Realities for Less, Red Prophet, Roland, Steven, Tools, Devler, and Willie. These guys, they're my highest tiered patrons over on Patreon. They are the producers of this episode. I also need to thank each and every one of these fine ladies and gentlemen. All these names you're seeing on the screen. These are all my supporters over on Patreon because I don't have any corporate sponsors. I'm sponsored by you guys, the community. If you want more videos about Linux and free and open source software, subscribe to DistroTube over on Patreon. Peace, guys. You can have a desktop app for 4chan. You can have a desktop app for the hub.